I'm, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like when, when the episode started and that shit just kind of kept raining, I was like, did, "Is like is Rudy casting that magic spell? Like we're just wanting constant rain? Or like what the hell's happening?" And then you find out, like like at the end of the episode, it's like, "Yeah, rainy season's almost over." Like uh-huh. that expl- that'll do. That'll do. Yeah. Oh, and then we get your. Oh, I'll, I'll save what podcast. So yeah. Sorry. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna actually use that part for the intro. What's up, everyone? Yeah. Welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast. This is the weekly review for Mushoku Tensei. We're on episode four. What was the title again? Four. Yeah. Four. It's number four. Is it four? So we got the slow life and the Dodia village. Yes. Episode there you go. four. Yes, this is episode four. I should say part two because this is the fall season. Yes. So yes. I'm your host, David, and join me today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. And we have Ku. Yo, yo. All right, so... I don't know, just a quick summary, I guess, this episode. We, I mean, we resolved the issues with uh, the North God from last week. And then Rudy and in the party, well, we find not, out that... Not, not, not the North God, the North, the North Saint. Style Saint. The North yes. Style Saint, yes, because, yes. Thank you for correcting me, sir. Yes. yes. I knew um, that, too. So we find out that, like, because it's the rainy season and wherever they are, um, they basically can't really leave until it's over. So they're there for three months. Um, we see, you know, the slow life, like we've seen every isekai. This is just like his slow Ooh. life in the village right now. <laughs> and don't mind, don't mind Taylor joining suddenly. <laughs> so, um, but basically, uh, I guess it's more, more of this episode was basically, uh, had to do with like Eris and her relationship with like, with, uh, the, the two other girls. And also like, you find out more about, um, uh, Ghislaine. I actually I was trying to bring that up last week because I I that's that's the connection I was trying to make with the beast people, but like I just forgot about Glane. I thought I was like we mentioned her, but you actually called it though. You you did actually say it in the podcast. Did I? Okay, yeah. I, I remember like the, did, like sir. the beast people with like the maids, but I totally forgot about Glane of all people. So yeah, yeah, that was one uh, of the things I completely forgot the connection where it's just like oh yeah, Glane looks like these guys, and then I didn't even think about it. Then all of a sudden when they brought ooh. it up, like what the hell? And she was my or she's my or uh, she's my sister. I was like. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess yeah. a lot of it was oh, more God. on that side, just like more backstory with Lane and how like yeah. she's changed so much since she left the village. Mm. So yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that part was really good. I mean, it's uh, like we got to. I didn't really think like even though it was, it, it felt like now in you know, twenty twenty, uh, mm. that it was um with with her being like the like for the part of the beast people, I just felt like somehow she was gonna be brought up at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, which that part was like, like just I mean it was, it was good, but I do actually agree with you, Dave, that a lot of this I think was just kind of Aries and the the two that that guy's uh, daughter. I actually thought I was actually ready for him to say like like you know Glenn was like his wife or something because you know he has he has a daughter and you know, uh, Glenn's gone. So. I was thinking I was thinking about that too. It's like oh is that like his wife that ran away? But then sister's yeah. like the other the second choice that made sense. So hold up, you guys, you guys well, seriously well, thought that someone could tie well, down Kaleen? <laughs> really? That's, that's not, my... fucking, not even Paul can tie that shit down, man. Yeah, like I mean, yeah, anime. <laughs> anything can happen in anime. So nah, not that. Like, nah. The, the, like the whole, my mind was completely set on her being like his wife. That even when they said uh-huh. like, man, they look a lot alike. I was like, hmm, they do. That's a little bit weird. <laughs> but I didn't even think I didn't even think about it though. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway. But yeah, there was uh so basically this episode was more focused on Eris and uh like her growth as a human in a sense, or her her growth as a swordsman, a person, you know, whatever, right? As a teacher uh, too for of yeah. swordsmanship. And then basically the girl that uh she was kind of like tutoring, her name was Tona. Um and yeah, basically she was just teaching her uh like the sword style that Kalane taught her. And it turns out that Tona's father is uh the brother of Kalane. And it looks like there was a mysterious passerby that, like, thought Ghislaine had potential, and that's what brought her over to the Asura Kingdom, I guess. And that's where she became the Sword King and became the bodyguard. Wait, you, and, you, uh, you said mysterious passerby. Is that not, like, the grandfather? Or are we not supposed to assume well, that? They, they well, really, they didn't really tell you who it was. Like, from what Tona's father mentioned, it was just some passerby came okay. by, and then just took I her. Just, I assume it was the grandfather. The grandfather because he's like 
he was like you know responsible for so many of the beast people in the man like their mansion but i i guess i shouldn't assume it then <laughs> yeah, I, yeah i have no idea yeah so as of right now we don't really know who it is but okay uh, okay yeah i'll keep that in mind then so i also um i also like the, the i thought it was a perfect perfect amount of etchiness like if every episode was like that perfect it would be I so mean, good dude rudy just god damn rudy like <laughs> Stop going hey. for this thirteen-year-old girl. <laughs> hey, 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 first of all, all right, first of all, when you're fifteen years old, you're considered an adult, right? So if he's thirteen or twelve, they're they're like late teens in a sense. So they're they're close to the the age of adult. He's still, so thirty it's, it's what something, something thirty something year old man. I feel like I feel like we need to just get rid of that whole mindset. The fact that he's a thirty-year-old, I can't get rid of that mindset, sir. No, like, no, no, like you you have to. Otherwise, otherwise this whole show. Me. Otherwise, this whole show is going to turn you off, right? I like everything besides that. That's like the one like th- thing that re- just still bothers me. Everything else is is fine. Eh, I mean, I guess, but uh, that's going to be a constant thing. So it is a constant it's, thing. Uh, it's, I always have to bring it up because it's a constant thing for me. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, just like that. I thought that was perfect amount of etchiness. Uh We also got our new party member. Sadly, yeah. it was not the mount this time. No long for you, sir. <laughs> You're trying yeah. so hard to get that mount, and it just wouldn't happen. That, that was a one kind of a weird moment. Again, they always got to bring up like when you know when Rudy just wants to pet the dog. You know, he just basically <laughs> wants to hang out and basically say how cute the damn dog is. And then you have the other everyone just the other chick just make it awkward. Everyone just makes it weird. Yeah, yeah, they just make it weird. It's just like no, just you know, it's just it's just the pet. You know, just a pet dog. It's a pet mount. That, uh, uh, well, apparently the, the dog was also like uh was like in heat in a sense and it was like lusting towards rudy whenever he would pet him or whenever they would like interact with each other oh yeah like yeah. i don't know if you guys noticed but when uh when that that girl came in and said why do you always have that lewd face when you're petting the ancient <laughs> the sacred beast and then like rudy's like what that's not me and then she was like i can smell it and it turns out it was uh, it was the dog so cool way to make this be even more weird you guys need to pay attention to this shit, all right? <laughs> it's, I don't it's think the word okay. The words were not really like need, that in the anime. I don't know. I think I really you read the manga. That. Yeah. No, she literally said it when she came Did in. She? Hmm. All right, you guys it, need yeah. to rewatch it. No, no, I'll, 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 I, I know what you're talking about, Ku. So it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Because was back. like, "That's not me. I'm just petting the dog." And then, like, you looked trying, at the dog. I was trying to ignore or not remember it. So. I feel yeah. like I feel like you guys are, are too too young for this type of show. Oh, yes. well, okay, sir. <laughs> I wish yeah, I could call myself young. young. Okay, yeah. sir. Young like yeah. the like the girls that beauty creeps on. But anyways, dogs are always like there's always like some dogs that are like in heat trying to hump your leg or whatever. So why can't that like <laughs> philosophy flower bear too? This is still a dog. It makes even sense. though it's a sacred yeah. beast. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, he just happened to be the sacred beast. He can't help it. He's still a dog, you know? Right, right. He's still so, he's still he's still a future a future mount. Yeah, and we don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Mount. Could be a girl dog. So good, good point. Yeah, yeah <laughs> good right? point. Girl dogs <laughs> always be doing stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. yeah. But moving on, yeah. So you get your little time skip, right? Three to four months that they've been in this forest, and yeah. now that they leave, they uh, they have geese come along. Apparently, he broke out of prison, which I don't think that's how they. I left the village mention. together in the in the story, but uh, it's still really weird. It's still really weird how he was yeah. the one that was still in the prison. Like yeah, a couple things. R- with the, yeah, couple... Rudy, Rudy didn't even vouch for him at all. He just stayed there the whole like three months with the North Saint. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, there's a couple <laughs> weird things with that because they they had they had geese, but they also had the guy that was like the villain. Yeah, we didn't. We don't actually know what happened with him. He was just they just showed him just naked in the cage. Yeah. Yep, he's just uh, which, which is now. which is reasonable. It's fine. He, he mm-hmm. deserves it. Um, yeah, they, they didn't actually mention that part. Which I thought was kind of weird. I also thought that one girl got really good in in just three months with sword fighting. Like, oh, uh, Tona. Yeah, yeah. Because first, like before they mentioned that part, like when they all of a sudden just showed her, like you know, you know like she had moves, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden she was doing stuff. I was like, what in the hell just happened? Like, is this like the next Galen? And then they said like it's been three months. I was like, yeah, it's fine. That's understandable. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And Makes then sense. then I moved on. But then of course then the the new teammate or the new party member you know, kind of just jumped in. It's just like, man, mm-hmm. how did he get out? And he basically says, yeah, I just broke out and made a run yeah, for it. Like, made, made a run for it. How? And how? no one's chasing you. I you mean, got a village full of beast people who's super strong I, and just kind of managed to get away. Yeah. Honestly, I don't mind that they skipped that because, like, I don't think I really need to know. I guess, I mean, we don't really know much about geese now. So yeah. I guess I say that now. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't really want to spend more time in the village. I think, like, I had enough of this village. So this, yeah. this I mean, is one, two episodes. Like, 
it's good enough for me. Like, I want to move on with the adventure. It was a good, yeah. like, you know, connection to Zuko Lane, too. You know, just, again, mm-hmm. like, establishing the lore and setting up, like, the exposition. But, like, yeah. I really, I, I do want to move on with the story. I do want, like, some some progress of, like, like, you know, how, like, how how much closer they are to, like, to getting Eris back and if we're ever going to see... I'm so curious if they're ever going to show any flashbacks to Paul at all. I think that's, like, my, my main theme. No, maybe. I'm wondering. Maybe. But. Yeah, they they are uh they are moving at a decent pace, I think. Like that's, I'm glad that's, that's that the thing too they... in the story. It's like I still know like where they are and like how far away they are from like where they're supposed to go. That's that's kind well, of I, you... I kind of wish I would know this. Like I feel like it'll it'll, it'll be covered. I'm not it'll, too worried. It'll, but... it'll come up. It'll, it'll come okay. up. And then like to be honest with you, there you're getting a little bit of your lore drop at the end, right? Like at the end, you got them leaving. You see a monument f- yeah. uh that's to uh let's say as a uh, the seven strongest fighters. Yeah, the seven great powers, right? It's a monument to the seven great powers, and then Geese tells you that uh, from from the strongest to the weakest, it's the technique god, dragon god, battle god, demon god, death god, sword god, and north god, right? Wow, you actually uh, remembered so all that in order. I wrote, yeah, I wrote cool. it down, sir. I'm this so glad we have you. You write it down. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So keep in mind that this is going to be uh, this is the lore drop, right? So this I, is going to be important yes. later on. Very, so, so keep this stuff in mind. Very obvious. Yeah, I assume like one of them's got to show right. up. Just like, I mean, mm-hmm. because... Flags! Death flags! Yeah. I mean, I or, like... Or, I, what is it? Event flags. Yeah, know. event flags. Like, it, it surprises me, like, with every episode in this season, because I didn't, re- I didn't read the, the, the source until season two, or until right. after I saw season one. But, like, if I were to go all the way back, I would imagine that in season one as well, every episode, they've been dropping hints as to, like, they've been, like, just foreshadowing what's... <clears throat> what's possible I mean, or what's going to happen. That's what Tizzle's been saying too all this time when we were yeah. doing it back then. So Yeah, but I but I like to me it's it's amazing like how subtle they put it and it gets you as as like if you've read it like it's like an extra like not it's like an extra gift, right? Like for the guys who've read it, like here's a little like tease as to what's going to happen soon and just that's really it just gets I, you really, like excited, you know? I I like that when cuz then like it actually makes like, you know, Stuff like this, like like being able to re- rewatch as an anime, like it makes it really enjoyable mm-hmm. instead of just like just yeah. knowing what's gonna happen. Like I, I I really like that when stories do that, so that's well, that's nice. It makes me want to read it later. That's mm-hmm. why, like with one of these works, like I, I like if it was any other anime, I would be kind of really worried that we'd be missing like those kind of details. But from the first season, like they've they've basically been able. To, I think they covered really everything that we could have asked for, like what we would have known without really, you know, mm-hmm. kind of I guess in a sense spoiling stuff for us. So right. I almost mm-hmm. feel like those details, David, that you're kind of like missing, like we're, we have no fucking clue where they are on the map. Like I'm actually not worried about it because I actually feel like they will let us know. I think it's just a me thing, just because like I'm. Worries, I'm man. So, I'm we, so have high, used, we have high expectations. I'm so used yeah. to like, <laughs> like to like JRPGs where you you have like a world map and you kind of have a sense of the geography of where mm-hmm. everything is. So I kind of, yeah, I'm more used to that sort of adventure. Yeah, Otherwise, like a lot, a lot of times, anime like they they usually stay like in one place and they only. Like, rarely do they go off to somewhere else. So, mm, like, ammo. and you're able to hit select, open the world map, you know, or open up the status images, so, or right. I, 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 open I do up a like, tent in the world map. <laughs> I mean, I am, I do like having like that visual of like the where the geography is to help better understand the lore. Mm. Uh, Truth, I will get that. I'm not. I, yeah. I, I, I yeah. have full faith in this. And, uh, and then also, this, I just, uh, I just remember too, like when Eris says, "Oh, they sound really strong. Wouldn't it be cool if we ever meet one of those people?" I'm like, "Yeah, Eris, wouldn't that be cool?" Like, I wonder <laughs> yeah, when right? that's. I wonder if that's <laughs> ever gonna happen, huh? Yeah, yeah. possibly. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm like, I'm saying, Luke, when you when you watch the anime, you're just like, "Oh my god, it's it's gonna happen. It's coming." Like, you're just like, you're just so stoked. <laughs> actually, right? actually, even even like the last last season when like they had like the all like the different perspectives like we already got the, the demon uh-huh. girl i already forgot her name i just i just keep calling her millie's because of Rude. slime s- slime Rude. show so we already saw her we, we, still, we still need the, the the guy being the dragon and mm-hmm. i think there was like another person they showed too i, I think it was like was it the, what did they, did they show like the people in like in the floating castle like they did um, like they did barely they did briefly yeah yeah so they showed so those are the two are still missing from last season they foreshadowed as well so yeah. uh no not not really because if you remember the guy from the floating castle set a servant down to this uh figure out oh. what was causing that uh that disruption okay and that's the person that fought galane remember oh, before it... the uh oh yeah before the whole okay. happened. yeah yeah so so he's already like 
showcase and stuff in a sense. But we still haven't seen the the the, the main boss himself, the shadow that ordered him to go. Yeah. So I think, that, I think so that's what I meant. Uh, yeah. I think that's why I meant like 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 that side. Like we mm-hmm. need to see like their background and their story and then yeah, the dragon guy. So mm-hmm. but we, I don't even, so I don't even know where we're gonna get that to this season or not, because there's still so much like like open like holes that we need to like to cover. But Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna slowly they're gonna slowly reveal like I guess the geography I guess so you'll you'll get that eventually but uh, yeah with the pacing that they're going I I think we'll we'll see quite a bit of action like a lot of key plots are gonna be dropped this season hopefully so yeah I just don't know where they're gonna end the season at because man like with the pace that they're going it it could it could be anywhere I have a pretty good idea of when they're gonna like drop the season but um, you have I'll, to let us know if you're wait. right then you have to let yeah. us know if you're yeah. correct at the end of it. Yeah, um, I'll wait. Yeah, there's another part of a, this episode I was so hyped for where I thought like, oh damn, we're gonna see some sick, sick animation. Mm-hmm. When uh, that one guy's like, all right, I want to, you know, duel you, Ares, just to basically oh, see like, you know, what, part, what Glenn yeah. has taught you. I was so hyped, just like Rudy, to just You're be ready. fucking disappointed. You're ready to just get like <laughs> an epic sword. I mean, because we already got an epic sword fight with. We had a fight with like Rudy and the North Sink. I mean, it was just mm-hmm. it was it was sword versus magic, but. You were, hoping, more. you were hoping for the sword v sword fight. Hell yeah. And, and then yeah. I, I like how they do the clash. And even Rudy's like, wait, did I miss something? What the fuck just happened? Only a master swordsman <laughs> would appreciate the the, the moment yeah. that just occurred. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, if, if you really want to know more, you gotta you gotta read the the, the source. Like t- you're, yeah, you're not gonna get us read the source. Guys, uh, YouTube, Twitch, whatever, just let us know the We're details. We're on a time crunch, sir. We gotta go, yeah. right? We gotta find this family, all right? Yeah. We gotta right. for this shit. Uh, yeah, yep. I'm not. I'm not too worried. Like, I'm, if they need to save it for something else, that's fine. So yeah, yeah. All in but, all, I'm just I'm just glad like we're we're you know we're out of the village. Like hopefully I'm always excited when actually they go to new places because again I like knowing more about the lore and more of, like more of this world. I love the world building in this show. So yeah. like so yeah. if it like I love being on the adventure. So sounds like we're gonna, we're gonna be like in the holy city next. So we always got, we always gotta have one of those and an isekai. But I'm so excited of to course. see like. I'm ex- I'm still excited to see what what it brings like I I wonder if they got like if they got server server expectations because you assume there's gonna be a bunch of religious people and like but we'll see like 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 if the followers are really like devoted or there's okay it's either like the followers are really devoted or it's like the church is corrupt and like yep it's gonna be that that, that was my like, that was that's that's what I'm gonna guess <laughs> like and then like okay. like well right. but that but like Rudy's not, well I mean they're not gonna do too much because that's that's too too big of a plot to go into to to fight a corrupt church just for the three of them but guys even Konosuba had it where basically it was a batshit crazy church and it was Aqua's thing. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's going to happen. That I, I, that's not fair. Uh, you know it's going to be bad because it was Aqua's church, right? It's Aqua. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. But I, I feel like, basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna go with David. It, it's gonna be corrupt. They're gonna yeah. fight some. Uh, they're gonna fight some religious people that are. Uh, that I mean, are I was saying that's one of two. I think they're, it's just that one. It's just gonna be that one. There's oh, no, no sane people. Okay, maybe, maybe, anime. maybe like it will be corrupt, but like I don't think like we're gonna get too involved in it because like that's. Like that's too much to handle for those three. Like maybe we'll know that's corrupt, maybe. but like, but like. Remember, they do know. have Rugerin. Rugerin, I think, would actually be anyway. Never mind. I have no idea. I guess, but I'm just gonna say the corrupt, and then we'll, we'll call it good. We'll see. Like trying, trying to be a prophet's pretty fun. Go ahead, throw your guesses out there. It's yeah, okay. I've never been good at it. No? <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Right. I'm just going to the possibilities. Thought, like, the... I don't have anything set in stone, but like, yeah, based off what what usually happens, so. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm basically like Sasha, where I have ridiculous things. Basically, where it's just how you just like kind of bounce it off the wall with ideas. I just basically I completely miss the just, wall. It I just throw off the I just I throw got off the common stuff to see if it actually happens. So when it doesn't happen, then like I'm I, I'm like I'm glad that it's. I'm always happy when it subverts my expectations. That's yeah. why I, I just throw like what's common or like a trope just to see if they do it. Like, okay, yeah. yeah. Really, I think I just have one more like, thing I mean, to say. Just about I mean, this. Oh, sorry, go ahead, David. Oh, uh, I mean, because I was like, because, you know, like, because we were saying, like, how, like, the North Saint guy, like, he was so sketchy when you smuggled him across the sea. It's like, I mm-hmm. want, so I was saying, like, oh, they they got severe expectations. He's not actually sketchy. He turned to be sketchy, but <laughs> not, really, <laughs> not really a problem for me because everything else in the show is still really good. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it's, yep. it's kind of hard to tell, like, like if they got, if they got subverted or if it's just going to be kind of, like, still kind of tropey, but. Right. I'm right. again. I still really enjoy the whole package. Yeah. though. like the whole package right. is still really good. Yep. 
Um, just kind of like the last thing I was going to say, like, uh, uh, you know, before I just kind of I'm done with this episode is uh, after this episode, I like Aries even more than I did before. It was just showing her kind of her growth as like, I guess we'll just say human being, because before she was just a snotty brat. Mm-hmm. And now she's actually like, you know, teaching people. She's having like, like almost friendships where it just feels like, you know, where where she like where she's actually knows she needs to leave. It's not one of those things where like the, those the, the little beast girls are asking her, you know, to stay. Mm-hmm. And then Aries is basically just straight up saying, like, I can't I have to go back. Also, where she just knows the stuff, she's not being, she's not acting like a kid. She's actually acting like more of an adult. Mm-hmm. And it's like, damn, like she's she's awesome. She's definitely yeah. like, uh, you know, one of those when when she's of age, she should end up with with Rudy. <laughs> she be in the harem, sir. That's hey, that's where the nah, show is nah, going. She ends the harem, dude. I like, I mean, I was a fan of Roxy, but Aries is Aries is pretty awesome. Nah, nah. Well, she's getting up there. Oh, uh, I'll say I tell you, be disappointed, but you like harm, sir. So just get, I do, just, I do. Just get, just get ready for the heiress, Roxy, Sylphie, and See, the thing is, whoever else. I, I like I like harms a lot more because than than love triangles because <laughs> love triangles I always feel so like I in love triangles I will f- always feel bad for the other losing parties. It will happen. Harms, it's almost like it's ridiculous. Like yeah, you throw them in there, you have no chance, and it's just you know whatever. So if it becomes a love triangle, we have, we're gonna have a problem, and I'm gonna I'm gonna shed some tears. The, the thing is, I, the reason why I hate harems is because usually at the end of the seasons, the guy doesn't end up with any of them. They leave it open ended just because, like, yeah. but this MC is finished, kind though. of a, a beta in a sense. Yeah. Like, he's kind of a, a coward. But with Rudy, Rude. you know, he's not really, uh, he's he's very, like, straightforward. And he's, he's very, uh, uh, let's just say, he's very alpha, right? Like, he kind of goes for what he <laughs> wants. Know. Right, and then like he, 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 he tries to get it. Like well, okay, with, okay, okay. with with Roxy, he was trying to sneak peeks. Uh, with with Sophie, you know, those, those 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 and then and with Eris, like he's always trying to like you know cop cop a feel. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, I like, okay, that's that's Rudy that's, is, Rudy, that's Rudy, creepy. Rudy not like that's... Most, Rudy's not like most MCs where when he has a chance, he backs off and he gets scared. Rudy is a guy where he if he has a chance, he goes for it. And like to me, with all the harem animes that I've watched. He's not yes, the MC that fits a harem anime. There's, okay, uh, there's, there's more. So. There's more. We can have more than just I like you up to actually. That's a good point. Like, right. Okay, there's more than just being a creep or like being like you know someone does does nothing. We can have. We can do better. Come on, guys. Hey, everybody, everybody those, has... not, those, those are not our only two choices. <laughs> everybody has the anime. There is everybody so. has a beginning story, David. You can only go right. off from here. And so yeah. far, he's been kind of was... flatlining. But there's there's there's, there's gonna that's... be a moment. No, no, no. That's, that's... We've been told. We've been told by uh by um, oh, by by multiple people on the YouTube comments. Like you know, he will have a moment where people are simping for him. It'll happen. <laughs> okay, I just okay. I I, I can kind of see it later on. I just like really don't like it right now. Like in this phase, so but yeah. I can kind of see it later on when he finally like, you know, gets better, grows up. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just want to say like, to, like to, uh. No, like all all jokes aside, right? If this was IRL, then yeah, obviously it's not cool, you no. know. But you have to keep in mind it's anime, it's Japanese culture. It's fun. Uh, it's, fun. It, it's it's just funny, right? Because it's yeah. not real. So whatever you see in anime, please don't do it in real life, right? Just <laughs> I mean, keep it in the I, anime. I hope, I hope that's the common sense. I was gonna say unless the oh, no. real quick, unless you end up in an isekai. Continue, David. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say the Ku's okay. point. Like, if it's gonna be a harem, at least like commit. I don't like it when authors do like leave you pick no one, or they do all, the all, like all the above. Like, cause then like Good you're point. Point. like, cause then you're just afraid to, to piss anyone off. Like, if you're gonna do a harem, like you better just commit to one person and the, take the heat. Like, right. That's why they go love triangles and it's brutal for us because we feel bad for the losing yeah, party. At least like, I do. Commit yeah, and like take yeah, right. take take so. the heat. Otherwise, otherwise, like otherwise, like you just you kind of ruin the genre then because then like every time you see a harm, it's like oh they're not gonna actually commit or not. Are we just That's doing all, all this for nothing. So like yeah true. yeah. So yeah. All, I, all I know is 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 with 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 Mushoku Tensei, you're not gonna get blue balled at the end of the season like all other harem animes. Well, so. it's actually done too, so we know there's gonna be a resolution at some point, whether it's right. gonna be anime or we're gonna have to go to the original source. Like right. we, we will get that resolution, right? Because this is one of those where I think all of us plan on like if we don't get this all animated, I think we're all gonna read it, aren't we, David? I I definitely want to read it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll get the resolution regardless. Sorry, David. Go ahead. I, I'm uh, done. No, <laughs> so. I'll just, I'll even say like I don't really care about the harm stuff, but like the whole everything else, like the world building and like the storytelling is so good. That, like it just like it takes off all the negativity I have in in anything else. Like it's still probably like my favorite isekai. So. Oh, same. Same. This is by far, I think, my favorite. 
<laughs> unless uh, startup becomes reality, then I'm, you know, by default, I might that doesn't, that doesn't count, sir. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's My bad. Well, that's not animating. What's IRL? So it's it, oh, that's true. Yeah, so it's, it's order, we just throw it out. Yeah, no. we just throw out the window then. No, right. no, it's right. yeah, you don't, too you real. Don't get, too you, real. You don't get the you don't get the nerve to die, man. You just get to play the AR game. Well, <laughs> oh, David, I will. Yeah, <laughs> AR, not dead. No, 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 no. But, you're, uh, you're you're gonna be like those 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 Pokemon gyms. You're gonna, you're gonna run to each Pokemon gym and you're gonna grind boom. your ass off and then go to the other side of the city to to keep grinding just like Kirito. <laughs> Just okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, it's okay, man. We just have to do the the the, the Kirito workout where he basically just becomes it wiped up in shape in like six hours. Just, we got just, easy. Just, just run around the city and grind in AR. Yeah. Oh yeah. It'll be yeah. Basically, just dodge cars where it's just uh, never mind. I'm not gonna say anything else. Gotta get your XP, <laughs> so, man. I think that's it for this right? week's episode because I wasn't expecting to talk this much because I didn't really have much to say. But I guess we kind of went off longer. board. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, all, all in all, still enjoying it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I didn't hear. Can't I want to thank thank everyone who's been with us this whole time. Thanks everyone for leaving comments too. Like, it's their Thanks, favorite guys. parts. Like, we love reading comments. So, so anything yeah. you want to say, just like put it down. Um, always love replying to them. You know, it's just friend now. So, thanks, yep. friend. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Th- uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Bima Yuda, Ra- Raviol, Christopher, Maximilian, Genis. FVA, Muhammad Yassin, SYC. Thank you guys for the latest comments. I tried to comment on all you guys, or at least what I knew of what you guys were saying. There's some other comments, no clue what I, like, because I, I, like I said, like, uh, two of us, me and David, don't read the original source, so I had no clue what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll always, I will say I always appreciate the comments. Uh, I should, I also I should mention this quote earlier. I, I always get to do this at the beginning, but we do have a Discord, so if you want to, have more discussion there either with Mishoku Tensei or with other anime shows we do this season not, yeah. Yeah, this season yeah we do um keep up with the other the current uh season and we do talk about it in your discord so if you want to join the conversation uh, feel free to join discord and um and yeah just talk more about like the current season stuff so so I don't know where you want yeah. um that's gonna be it for us for this week we'll see you guys next time bye 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 Play that ultra music strand. <laughs> That's all I needed to say. There's okay. there's no other ultra music needs or is needed. Sasuke blows. Mm-hmm.